lovely people welcome back to my channel where we talk about cake decorating we'll be focusing on teens in relation to decorating as we all know cake decorating does not start from that blank fondant cake or that blank frosted cream cake cake decorating is a process that starts from your teens so today we are going to focus about teens and I'll explain to you how you can, how your design can uh, pop out, how your design can look balanced and proportionate when you use the correct tin. So now you want that decoration to pop out and to look balanced. Your client comes to you, they want a 1kg cake and let's say the, the theme is a sunset theme. So already in your mind, or the picture you have, the picture that the client has sent you for, for inspiration, you already know the elements that will go in to create that sunset effect. We already know that, that there's a variation of colors, the, that ombre look, there's a variation of colors, there's the, 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 the bright orange, and then it, it fades a little, and then there's that popping yellow. And then on top of all, Added to that, we also have maybe some silhouette of animals and trees, and maybe there's a big, uh, there's a big sun right here at the corner. So once you know all the elements that are going into your cake, then you'll be able to know that you need um, you need a particular height for that cake. So normally, when a client when a client calls you for one kg cake we normally have that tendency of rushing to our eight inch cake tins to do our one kg but we have to put into consideration the design that is needed so now because we are focusing on our sunset design we know we need a particular height at least we need to attain maybe a four inch high cake or maybe even a five inch high cake so what what i would advise any baker that is starting out is invest in a seven inch cake tin. I know these are not available easily because it's an odd number, so you have to have them made for you at the uh, Juakali Artisan. So you can have your seven inch or you can also have your six inch. By doing that, you will attain the desired height and all your elements will be well balanced on the cake and if you want it much taller you can still achieve that by using your six inch tin and you will attain that desired height and all your elements will be well balanced on the cake okay now from that we've seen that for one kg you can use any of these tins but for you to achieve the desired height for your design to pop well you have to choose the uh, the right tin. Uh, some of you may be wondering then how do I measure my tins? I'll just show you how we, we, we measure our tins so that when you go to your supplier you are able to get the right the right measurements. So for a six inch tin we normally don't measure from this end but we measure from the inside. So when measuring your tin it's advisable not to measure from the outside because the the material can be thick and you might not get the correct measurement so we normally measure from the inside as you can see from this end to this end this is a six inch this is a seven inch and this is an eight inch cake pan the other thing I want to talk about is that you don't have to shop for thousand and thousand of tins. I think that is our weakness as bakers. We go and we just shop without even giving a, giving it a thought. There are, there's that one tin that you can have in your bakery that is just multi-purpose and you can use it for very various designs. For example, the rectangle the rectangle tin. You will agree with me? that with this tin, you are able to do very, very many designs with it. 
the mistake I did when I was starting out, uh, I had an order for an open book. And I, I, I didn't know, I was cracking my head. I mean, how, how am I going to do an open book? So I went to my Juakali artisan and I had this huge team made for me. And I'm telling you, I had to bake like five times to get exactly what I wanted because with these so many corners and then you're limited to the number of cages that you need to do in this big, huge, huge tin. So, nowadays I use my rectangle tin. For example, if I'm doing that open book, I'll simply use this and when I'm decorating, I'll just have to come and do a little carving right here at the center just a little carving on the side and yeah i have my open book i'll also use the same tin to do my closed book i'll also use the same tin if i'm doing a bag i can have this cut into various various uh, sections and then i stack them one on top of the other and i carve out my bag so you really don't have to buy the, the, the bag and the books and the and the other smaller square tins where you can use just one tin to do all those shapes okay the last thing that I wanted to talk about concerning tins is um, we all know how it's so scary to carve cakes uh, especially if you're uh, if you're starting and even for those seasoned bakers, there are those that just are scared of carving cakes. Well, there are some things that you can use that will make that easier. Maybe you'll just have a little trimming to do. Uh, for example, I'll show you. Uh, there's um, a kyondo cake. I think that's the most requested design, especially here in our country. And I've had so many upcoming bakers asking me, which things do you use? Uh, I'll show you. This is what I normally use for my kyondo cake. Uh, this is a. It's, I don't know. I can. It's it's actually a bowl. It's a food bowl, but uh, safe to use in the oven. You can see it's rounded, and then it's have it has a flat bottom. So this is what I normally use for my kyondo. This is what you bake at your bottom, and then you will have a normal round cake. This is a nine eight inch. Sorry. That you will you bake you can bake it in layers and then have that on top of your of this uh, rounded shaped tin and there you have it you already have your your kyondo shape so all you'll do is just trim a little and yeah that's that's all you don't need to do a lot of carving but the, those who are very good at carving you'll find them using just this round tin and they are able to do that rounded curve at the end and that's good for them but if you're starting out or if you're fearing to curve then you can use that you can also do the same when doing your pot cake which is also another common design here in our country so for the pot cake we, we use these two ball tins i think you're all familiar with these shapes so this is what we use but what i do for added height, I normally have another round, another round layer in between the two ball tins. And when you cover like this, have this slightly, maybe an inch, an inch more than the ball, than the ball tin, so that when you're carving, you can now join these two and have that curve flowing to this other bottom curve. Alternatively, alternatively, you can just have these two and join them together and there you have it. You have your shape of the pot, which can also be your food, your soccer ball cake. It can be your pot. It can just be a round cake that maybe you can have it as a tear on your wedding cake. Oh, and another point to consider when you're doing the kyondo, if you cannot get that flat bottomed uh cake cake tin that have that i that have i've shown you you can still use your ball your ball tin and just uh trim off the the base so that your cake is able to 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 sit flat 
on your cake cake quilt plate and these come in various sizes i also have a smaller one that i do my smaller ball my smaller soccer cakes all right that's all i had to show you today about tins in relation to cake decorating and i hope this has helped somebody who is struggling with the with tins the sizes and the shapes and all that i hope this has helped you so please feel free to subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend and if you have any comments uh, please comment on the comment section below and if you have any questions, please also do the same Bye bye and let's continue baking the world a happy place You can purchase this cake it's One tin having Uh, comment, Apple comment, please comment. Uh, the last take to know what is Okay. A question about um, in relation to what we've just talked about. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this tin, sorry. It is rounded. Rounded? Rounded. <laughs> subscribe <laughs> I think December please subscribe